Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number nine from the June 2022 International GCSE IGCSE paper for extended 0580 syllabus. Uh, this question is um, about forming equations um, from some sort of worded problem. This is like to do with areas in the next part of volumes. It says here the area of rectangle. The area of the rectangle, which is the first shape here, of course, is 29 centimeters squared greater than the area of the square. The difference between the two perimeters of the shapes is K. Find the value of K. So I know the perimeter of this shape is 2 times its width um, plus 2 times its length. And the perimeter of the square is 4 times whatever X is. And when I subtract them, I get K. So, of course, what I need to do first is find what the length x is. If I find what x is, I will know how to find, I can find the perimeter of these two shapes and therefore find the difference between their perimeters. So, the first step is to find x. Okay, that's the first step. We need to find x. All right. Now, we know that the difference between the areas is 29 centimeters squared the area of the rectangle which is given by x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 okay is equal to the area of the square which is x squared but plus 29 if i add 29 centimeters squared to the area of the square that will be the same area as the rectangle because the rectangle is 29 centimeters squared more than or greater than the area of the square so if i don't if i don't put the 29 here then they're not equal okay this is 29 centimeters squared more than that so if i add 29 to this that makes them now equal all right so now i can form an equation from this and find what x is so i need to expand the brackets here so i have x times 2x which is 2x squared x times 1 which is x minus 1 times 2x which is minus 2x and minus 1 times plus 1 which is minus 1 and that's equal to x squared plus 29 now what i can do is i can ex um, i can um, use the zero product property because i have a quadratic here and i i can bring everything into one side and make it say equal zero so what i'll do is i'll subtract x squared from both sides so i have 2x squared minus x squared which is x squared and i'll there's no i have, I have x minus 2x which is minus x there's no x term on here and then i have minus 1 minus 29 which is minus 30 equals zero now this is something i can factorize i have just one x squared so i can put it straight into two brackets i don't have to split the middle term or anything it makes it easy this is one in front of the x squared x times x is x squared now two numbers they must multiply to give me negative 30 and when i add them i get plus one okay so i must understand that the two signs must be different if i multiply them together i get negative they must be different so i think of all the ways of getting 30. so i have 30 times 1 i have 15 times 2 i have 10 times 3 i have uh, 5 times 6. you can see of course it's going to be 6 and 5 because when i add them i have to get minus 1. so it must be plus 5 and minus 6 in the brackets here okay so it's very important for you to be able to factorize all right um you should understand how to do it don't just use your calculator to give you the two solutions you will lose marks you have to show that you factorize so it's important to know how to factorize so now this gives me two solutions either x plus five is zero or x minus six is zero in which case x is negative five or x is six now of course x can't be negative it's a length so x equals six is my answer well that's not my final answer but that will help us now write down the shapes the dimensions of the shape so this is going to be six minus one so this is five centimeters this is two times six which is 12 plus one so this is 13 centimeters and these two are both six centimeters each so now i can say the perimeter of this shape is going to be um, two times five plus two times 13 and if i take away from this so this is what k is the difference between the two perimeters take away from 2 times 5 plus 2 times uh, 13. Uh, takeaways from this, 4 times 6. Uh, 4 times 6 because 4 of these lengths is a square. Okay, so that's the perimeter of these two shapes. Subtract them, I'll get the perimeter or the value of K. 
That's going to give me 10. 10 plus 26, that's 36. Minus 24, that's going to give me 12. So the value of k is 12. k equals 12. So there's the answer to part A of this question. So we had to, first of all, find out what x is by using this information they gave us about the areas. The area of this is 29 centimeters squared, more than the area of that. That helped us to find x. Once we found x, we know the, the dimensions and just simply find the perimeter of each of these and subtract them. And that gives us the value of k. All right, so there's part A. Now for part B. Here we've got a situation where we've got two cubes. Okay, cubes, all the lengths are the same in the cube. So this is y plus 1 times y plus 1. This is y plus 1. This is y times y times y. So we can um, we understand that first from the word cube. It doesn't say cuboid, it says cube. All right, so all the lengths are the same in each of these. Then it says um, the volume of the larger cube is 5 centimeters cubed greater than the volume of the smaller cube. Show that 3y three, three squared plus 3y minus 4 equals 0. So first things, we got to basically understand that the volume of the larger cubed, which would be y plus 1 cubed, is equal to y cubed, but plus 5. When I add 5 to the volume of this, then the two volumes will be the same. Okay, so the volume is length times width times height. So it's y plus 1 cubed equals y cubed plus 5. And we got to show that this becomes this. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to write this as y plus 1 times y plus 1 squared. Okay, so I'm going to, because it says show that, I want to show my steps very clearly. So I'm going to show this very clearly. So this is y plus 1 times, now I'm going to expand this bracket. When you expand y plus 1 squared, you square the first term. You multiply these two, two terms together and double them. That gives me 2y, and then you square the last term. That's how you square square brackets. That's y cubed plus 5. Now I can expand this. I have y times y squared, which is, again, y cubed plus 2y squared. Okay, plus y. Then I have 1 times y squared, which is another y squared, plus 2y, and plus 1. That's equal to y cubed plus 5. Now, if I try to bring everything on one side like this is, the y cubed will cancel out. y cubed minus y cubed is 0. You have 2y squared plus y squared. That's 3y squared. You have y plus 2y. That's plus 3y. And you have 1 minus 5, which is minus 4 equals zero so we have shown that okay very clearly if you want to show a few more steps like for example showing one minus five and whatever that's fine but this should be okay so there we have shown that three y squared plus three y minus four equals zero is an equation that we got from uh, the information they gave us then it says for part two it says find the volume of the smaller cubed show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places so for this question here Supposing you didn't know how to get this and, you know, you didn't know how to show this. They already gave this to you. So even if you didn't do part A, for example, that's four marks gone, right? But you know how to find the volume of the smaller cube. You know if you find what Y is, you can work out the volume of the smaller cube. And you can find Y by simply solving this equation, which they gave us. You don't have to do part one to answer part two. So you can salvage four marks half the marks of the question, even if you don't know how to do part one, you can just say, all right, all I need to do is solve this equation and find the volume of this cube based on the value of y I find, and I've got my answer. Okay, so that's very important for you to understand. So solving, if you know how to solve this equation, 3y squared plus 3y minus 4 equals 0, then you're sorted, right? Now, to solve this equation, what we should do is, um, as they've told us very clearly here, there's no point in us trying to factorize because it says... Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Obviously, it's not something that will give us a rational answer, like a fraction, exact fraction, anything like that. It's going to have some square roots in there. So you have to either use the quadratic formula or complete the square. Now, for a question like this, it's way easier, I think, to use a quadratic formula. And to use a quadratic formula, if you remember the quadratic formula, it's x equals minus b plus or minus. In this, kind of, the ca this case, is going to be y, but no problem. But I'll just qu quote the formula as we have it, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's when you have 
ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. When you're trying to solve an equation like that, we use this formula. Okay, so we don't really have to quote the formula in our steps. What we have to do is show that we know how to use it properly. So we should know that the coefficient of y in this case is your three. So that's going to be minus three plus or minus the square root of. And the coefficient of y squared is my a. Is, sorry, um, I'm not talking about... Yeah, the coefficient of y squared is my a, which I'll need later on. But now I've got b squared, which is 3 squared still. That's still that 3 there. And it's positive. So if it was negative, I'd write a bracket there as well. I'll just write a bracket anyway. Whatever's in there, it's going to be affected by the sign. So for example, if that was a minus 3, that would become plus 3. Okay, so it's important for you to understand that. Okay, because it's minus minus 3 then. but it's a plus 3 there's no problem okay so you have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a which is 3 as well times c which is negative 4 all over 2a all over 2 times this 3 over here okay so once you've written this down that's your steps that's your working you don't have to go further in terms of showing what these exactly are when it says showing all your working you have to show that you have used the quadratic formula. Now, if you just put this in your calculator, you'll be fine. Okay, if you just put this straight into your calculator, like this, you put, um, sorry, not the square, you're gonna put your fraction minus three, minus three, plus or minus, I'll just put the plus first, the square root of b squared, so it's gonna be three squared, minus four times a times minus four, four ac, over 2a over 2 times 3 okay so that will give you your answer um which is going to be minus i'll write it in this exact form first minus 3 plus the root of 57 over 6 or you'll have minus 3 minus root 57 over 6 All right either this or this now of course this is going to be negative Minus and a minus, of course, we're negative. this is the answer we're going to need, which is the answer in our calculator as it is. So I can just press SD, that's 0 0.7583. 0 0.7583. Okay, now we want to find what the volume of the smaller cube is. Now the cube, the smaller cube has a volume of Y cubed. So we've got to take Y and cube it. So we're going to have Y, so the volume is equal to Y cubed. So I'm going to take this as it is root 3 plus root 57, sorry, minus 3 plus root 57 over 6, and I'm going to cube this. Okay, so I'll take my answer that I got here, and I'm going to cube it, and that gives me 0 0.43604. 0 0.43604, dot, dot, dot. Now it says, give your answer correct to two decimal places, so I'm going to write my answer as 0 0.4 four cubic centimeters okay so there's the answer to part two of this question um and this is i think the last question on this paper actually yes it is so it's the final question of this paper which is the may june 2022 igcse paper um paper four variant one other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here if you have a particular rest, uh, request for any questions on this paper or any other paper send me a message and I will put it up if you don't find it in the playlist. Uh, there's uh, other questions from this topic of constructing equations will be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.